The John Eagle family of dealerships is proud to sponsor School Zone Dallas, a showcase of DISD's successful commitment to prepare all students to graduate with the knowledge and skills to become productive and responsible citizens. Hi, I'm Malcolm, a senior at the Rosie M. Collins Sorrell School of Education and Social Services at Yvonne A. Ewell Townview Magnet Center in the Dallas Independent School District. And I'm Liz, a junior at Woodrow Wilson High School. And welcome to a brand new edition of School Zone Dallas. For the next half hour, we'll be showing you why we are proud to be a part of Dallas ISD. For instance, did you know that the district has more than quadrupled its number of exemplary schools over the last four years? Now that's impressive. It sure is, and over the next half hour, we'll be telling you a lot more about Dallas ISD and its outstanding accomplishments right here on School, School Zone, Zone Dallas. Dallas. Here at Tom Field Elementary, home of the Roadrunners. Field is one of the many new exemplary schools in Dallas ISD. In fact, just four short years ago, the district only had 14 schools rated exemplary. And now in 2010, we've more than quadrupled that number to an all-time high of 66 exemplary schools. And another 59 schools have been rated recognized by the Texas Education Agency. That's 125 Dallas ISD schools, or an unprecedented 54% receiving the state's top two ratings. And that's not all. In 2010, Dallas ISD graduated more students than at any time since the mid-1980s. District students, teachers, and staff have worked exceptionally hard to get to where they are. And nowhere is it more apparent than right here at Tom Field Elementary. And we'll tell you how they do it later on in the show. But right now, let's go to Jose and see what district students were doing over the summer. Don't think that just because it was summer, Dallas ISD students and teachers didn't have anything to do. That's quite the contrary. They were very busy. For example, during the summer break, our students took advantage of their time off by participating in an academic enrichment program that was offered at various schools throughout the district. Let's take a look at what was going on. During the past few years, the organization Big Thought and the Dallas ISD have worked together to provide Thriving Minds, a summer camp for students. Studies have shown that students who participate in enrichment programs like this one perform better academically. The program here at Thriving Minds offers DISD students um, a chance for enrichment programming such as visual art, cheerleading, dance, leadership, robotics, uh, website, technology, and um, martial arts. Students who participated in this program attend Robert T. Hill, E.B. Comstock, L.B. Sockard, Edward H. Carey, and J.O. Long Middle Schools. The camp ended July 30th with a program for the parents. The students learned a lot and had lots of fun at the same time. What more could you ask for in a summer enrichment camp? What's our theme? More than 2,000 high school freshmen and more than 2,000 students entering middle school got a taste of what to expect when the school year began August 23rd. The students participated in the Dallas ISD's high school and middle school early start programs, which are designed to introduce students to their new schools, teachers, curriculum, and classmates. The early start program offered the critical objectives that were covered during the first six weeks of class in math, science, and English language arts to give a running start to students entering middle and high school. What a great experience! Every summer, a select group of Dallas ISD seniors attend Camp Enterprise, an intensive three-day seminar on business issues, sponsored by the Rotary Club of Dallas. This summer was no exception. More than 50 Dallas ISD students had the opportunity to explore the challenges, opportunities, and obligations of the free enterprise system through presentations, case studies, and recreational activities. Students are selected because of their scholastic and leadership abilities. Topics for discussion included personal money management, how to present yourself, and organizing your company. Camp Enterprise is held in a true camp setting at Camp Hoblitzel in Midlothian, Texas. Ooh, camp Enterprise held its first camp in 1985 and is celebrating its 25th anniversary this year. Congratulations to Camp Enterprise and to all the students who participated. 
Das ISG employees and their families were in for a fun-filled day of exhibits and activities at the 2010 Employee Fair. Your health, your wealth, your life. Employees had the opportunity to discover new information about physical, emotional, and financial health and wellness. Employee Fair exhibits and activities included free health and vision screenings, wellness speakers, a blood drive, a healthy cooking demonstration, face painting, and relaxing chair massages. Learning how to eat healthy and stay fit. What a great idea! Dallas ISD students had the opportunity to receive free school supplies and other services at the 14th Annual Mayor's Back to School Fair. At this annual event, thousands of qualifying students not only received free school supplies, but they also benefited from a variety of vision, dental, and health screenings, educational services, and offerings from community resources as well. What a great way to get ready for the school year. Well, as you've just seen, Dallas ISD students and employees had a busy summer. If you saw something you're sorry you missed, don't worry, it'll all happen again next summer. For more information, go to the district's website, www.dallasisd.org. Summer activities information will be available by May 2011. For School Zone Dallas, I'm Jose. Thanks, Jose. You're watching School Zone Dallas, and we're both students in the Dallas Independent School District. Here at Tomfield Elementary, a lot of hard work and determination by students and staff is beginning to bear fruit. And the students are the ultimate winners. Over the last several years, the school's teachers have worked together across subject areas and grade levels to help improve instruction. Teachers continually assess students and their needs. Then working together, they use the information they find to improve instruction to their students. Yes, using information from their assessments helps teachers target instruction and tailor it for a student's individual needs. Exactly. And with the efforts of the staff, and of course a lot of hard work from the students, it's really paid off, with Field's first ever exemplary rating. And we know there are many more to come. We'll hear more about Field in just a few minutes, but right now let's go over to Madeline and learn about a special program that helps get students interested in college. Madeline. The importance of education is all-encompassing, and while the process of preparing to go to college can be overwhelming, it is vital to our future. That's why an organization like Education is Freedom is so important for students. We take the burden off of the counselors. The counselors are there to assist the students and help them guide the students to go to college, but they're so busy doing other things. So we're here full-time, every day, helping students get into college. That's, that's what we do, helping them fill out scholarships. And whatever it entails, taking the SAT, registering for the SAT, going online, setting up a, an account, um, that takes time, time that the counselors don't have. Uh, so that's what we do every day, and the staff loves us because we are motivating students to go to college. Currently, Education is Freedom, or EIF, serves 17 high schools and 6 middle schools in Dallas ISD. With offices located on the campuses and its own advisors, EIF is equipped with state-of-the-art technology, internet access, and the resources needed to research colleges and universities as well as scholarships. And the success of the program is apparent with more than 84% of EIF students applying to college. They helped me find out um, about scholarships and reassured me that I could go to college even though my family doesn't come from, from a lot of money. Open enrollment is the hallmark of the EIF program. At Dallas ISD participating schools, middle and high school students are eligible to enroll in EIF through the end of their sophomore year. The EIF program requires students to keep at or above an 80 accumulative GPA, as well as enroll in pre-AP and AP courses. EIF students attend workshops where help is available with preparing for college and EIF advisors help students to develop a college plan. With the essay workshops that they provide at the schools, they help us um, uh, guide us how to write essays, how to maintain a good average GPA for school. Um, we also, they also take us to field trips to college field trips, um, visit different campuses around the area. Um, to see whether that campus is your right choice. The EIF program enhances the students' educational experience by immersing them in extracurricular activities, community service projects, school leadership positions, and academic clubs. 
EIF was always there to help me since my freshman year. If it wasn't for them, I wouldn't probably take in the right steps. I wouldn't be as much as motivated as I am today um, to go into college. Education is Freedom is making a huge difference in our schools. In fact, the help that EIF provides enables students to succeed in college and in life. And when they succeed, we all benefit. For School Zone Dallas, I'm Madeline. Thanks, Madeline. You know, you don't have to wait until high school to start thinking about and preparing for college. As a matter of fact, here at Fields, students are encouraged to start thinking about college as early as elementary school. Fields counselor Laura McMillan talks with her students regularly about the importance of going to college. She works to get them excited and looking forward to the experience. When I first started doing guidance lessons and coming in the classroom and talking about college, I found that the kids were very excited, especially since they are familiar with a lot of the symbols and a lot of the pictures, but there wasn't a true connection as to where they were from. And coming in and doing the guidance lessons really gave them a connection as to what those were. Many of the students, when I go into the classroom, talk about they don't know a lot about college. Their moms, their dads did not go to college. So they could be the first ones to enter college. And it all starts at a young age. Not only do students here at Field focus on college, they receive a strong foundation in science and math, as do students across the district. And thanks to a $1.45 million grant from NASA and secured by the Foundation for Community Empowerment, Dallas ISD students received an unprecedented opportunity to explore the fields of math, science, and technology. At a recent symposium, teachers and students were able to visit exhibits provided by the Johnson Space Center and had the opportunity to attend workshops geared towards science, technology, engineering, and math, or STEM for short. This STEM initiative is focused on ramping up proven programs that lead to high academic achievement and college and career readiness. Teachers take what they learn back to their schools and use the STEM model to not only keep students focused on their futures, but to get them interested in the fields of math, science, engineering, and technology. Hey Malcolm, do you know what other subject can help you go to college? No, what subject? Music. Really? That's right. And here's Alexis to tell us why. Students who play a musical instrument are 52% more likely to go into college. Music ignites imagination, sparks creativity, and that's a little color to our world. And that's just a few of the reasons why Dallas ISD is excited about its partnership with Little Kids Rock. Little Kids Rock is a nonprofit organization that works with school districts all over the nation. This program is available for elementary, middle, and high school students. Their motto is, every kid has the right to rock. Teachers volunteer to learn and use the Little Kids Rock program in their school. Over the summer, teachers are trained in this cutting-edge music program using methods that are rooted in children's knowledge of popular music, forms such as rock, hip-hop, blues, rap, and more. Little Kids Rock is partnering with the Dallas Independent School District to launch a fifth stream of music education where kids will have the option of playing guitar, bass, drums, keyboards, or singing in a program where they're playing culturally relevant instruments and music that they love. By equipping teachers with the proper resources and tools, they are able to enter their classrooms ready to teach music. Students and teachers have access to more resources online at the Little Kids Rock website. Students learn how to use their musical instruments and are encouraged to improvise, either working together or individually. Students compose their own musical compositions. It's called finger picking, where you use these three fingers, and it goes a little like this. Music education in the past has focused a lot on reading notation. 